right, so when you're putting in these uh, screw-in gate hinges, I don't know exactly what to call them, but i um, seen a lot of people using like uh, vice grips or wrenches or anything to screw these in. And you're really just going to mangle it. So uh, you've got the, you've already got the perfect size thing right here. Uh, your, well, the piece that attaches to the, you know, the actual gate. So just slip that on and there you go. It's pretty easy to turn with that. I'm doing this with uh, one hand holding the camera, so it's a little bit trickier. But for you, it should be pretty easy. And yeah, just screw them in. Um, and you'll notice no damage there. If you put um, vice grips or whatever on there, it's going to be totally chewed up. Um, I would know because I did that yesterday on my other one. So don't make that mistake on yours and they'll look great and you won't uh, break them. So yeah, these are perfect. Um, and if So th this, is a, this is a half inch screw. So... Um, I used a 3 8 drill bit to put it into the post, and that worked perfect. That's the perfect amount of bite. It's not too hard to screw in, so that's what you want to use. Um, I don't know what these posts are made out of. I just found them at my house, but they seem pretty... They're, they're pretty soft, so, I mean, if you're using something really hard on it, like a locust post or something, you may need a... Uh, need a bigger hole but whatever you do don't use a don't use a one half drill bit that it's just going to slip right through it's going to be worthless um and i don't have anything bigger than a three eighths that's smaller than a one half so that's what i used but yeah that worked well for this post so give that a shot because you can always drill bigger um you can't drill smaller after the fact so yeah start with a three eighths and that should work fine and, you know, remember, just put your actual, you know, hinge piece on there, and there you go. It'll take you a minute. Oh, jeez. It'll take you a minute, but it's not bad. And one other thing I've noticed is, so, most of these videos, they show installing this top one uh, pointed down, kind of like this. And that works. It lets you adjust it and make it uh, super tight. But if you're just, you know, because for me, these are just, you know, very... Very kind of small, low-key gates. These are just for me getting in and out of my yard, so they're not seeing tons of abuse or anything. So I'm just going to put these both uh, facing up. So I'm going to put the bottom and the top facing up like that, and that makes it way easier to take the gate on and off, and it works fine for for my application so you might want to give that a shot instead of messing around with this you know the bottom one points up and the top one points down that that may be overkill for your application and another good thing to do before you put the gates on is just to put a little uh, little grease grease on these and then that'll um, it'll, they'll be really smooth and they'll last a long time so yeah good luck give that a shot